New tensions, meanwhile, at the Israel-Gaza border. Palestinians expected to gather for protests there today, continuing a series of demonstrations that have stretched on over the past year. Jonathan Hunt is there live now. Jonathan? Sandra, what started out here as a relatively calm day, and obviously everything is relative on this particular strip of land, but it has just in the last few minutes burst into a very violent clash between Palestinian protesters on the Gaza side of the fence and the Israeli Defense Forces on this side. As we zoom in now, and bear with us given the limits of the technology here uh, with the picture, but we zoom into that dark smoke. Here's what happens. The groups of Palestinian protesters, and there are at least several hundred of them on that far side of the fence today. They approach, they set tires on fire. That gives off a thick black smoke. That gives them then some sort of cover to try to rush the fence. That is what we are told from our producer inside Gaza is exactly what happened. A group of Palestinian protesters breaching the fence. At that point, the Israeli Defense Forces, as they are uh, allowed to do under their rules of engagement, opened fire with live ammunition. We understand from our producer on the Gaza side of the fence that several people have been injured. We do not know at this point how badly, but this started out with uh, much less violence than we have seen in previous weeks of what have been weekly protests over the past year. But as I say, it shows just how tense the situation is, that it has just burst into this kind of violence. All of this happening, of course, Sandra, as Egyptian mediators continue to work on a longer-term deal between the Israeli government and the Hamas leadership in Gaza, trying to get all of this tamped down. And you can see that from the, the size of the protests, Hamas are doing something to keep uh, the mass of protesters away, the thousands we've seen in previous weeks. Uh, and Israel is doing its part, making some concessions, opening a couple of border crossings from Gaza, for instance. It and what is a very important fishing zone for the Palestinians. But when you see this kind of violence that we've just seen burst out behind us, you see just how great the tensions remain. We're going to try to get a lot closer. We're playing a game of cat and mouse with the Israeli army here. We'll bring you more as we get it, Sandra. Thanks for your reporting there. Jonathan Hunt.